Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the Boxy Box from D-Link. In this episode specifically, we're going to talk about apps. Now, apps are one of the really cool things about the Boxy Box. In addition to the shows and movies that already exist on the Boxy Box, when you take it out of the box, you can also add third-party apps. To gain access to apps on the home screen, you head over to the Apps icon. Now you have access here to both third party and premium content. So you have access to say Netflix or MLB if you want to pay on a subscription model. Or you can use some of the things that are free from independent or smaller producers. Now we're going to head over to the TED application. Now when we click through we get a description of the application. We have the ability to launch it or we have the ability to turn it into a favorite. When you click on favorite it adds it to your favorites list which means you don't have to search for it so hard next time you come to the application. Just go to the app section, go to the favorites and then there it is. When you launch it or favorite it, it'll check to see that it's the latest version of the app and then it'll download the latest version if there's a new version of it available. Then it'll open up the content of the application itself. Now each of these apps is developed by a third party, so each of the developers is different. So each of them will look slightly different from the other application. Now different applications are set up in different ways because they're all done by different developers. So the one from TED may look different from the one from Twit, which may look different from the one from Butterscotch. So you want to take some time to get used to what each of these things look like. They may not look and work exactly the way you think they will or the way you want them to. Now when you get the box, all the apps you see are vetted by Boxy. These are things that they have said are okay and they want to make available to the people that are looking at Boxy. But anyone can develop a Boxy app and make it available even if it isn't officially on the Boxy marketplace here. The third party apps can be made available even if they're not on the market through something called a repository. A repository is something that may be familiar to Linux users for software. Software repositories are places where you can go and see all the different software that's available. In this case though, it's designed for Boxy apps rather than Linux software. To add a repository, hit the select button and bring up the mini menu, go over to the apps, and down to repositories. The first time you go, there won't be any repositories added, and it'll ask you to add one. Click through and it'll ask you for a URL to add in the repository. Enter in the address of the repository, in this case we're going to enter dir.fuzzthed, or for fuzz the destroyer, .com, and that'll add the fuzz the destroyer repository. After you've added your repository, it'll appear on the list here of repositories, and you can add more than one. To add another one, go up to the top of the screen and select plus, and then add another one. Then all of them will appear in this list. Then to find out what's in a repository, you go and highlight the one you want and hit select and go through. It'll load up all the apps that are available inside that repository, and then you can add them just the way you would another app by clicking through and then hitting launch or favorite. Now again, because these are made by third-party developers, they may not look and feel the way you want or expect them to, and it may be a little bit iffy, especially if you're looking at repositories that haven't been fully vetted by Boxy. For more information on how to use the Boxy, don't forget to check out the other parts in this series, and you can see more on this and the other parts in the series in our show notes at butterscotch.com.